channel. Today we are going to get into my full review and several looks using this new palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is called the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette. There was a pre-launch on Sephora. I went ahead and picked it up and then it was gone within like 24 hours. My palette arrived shattered. It was completely shattered over here on the edge. When I called Charlotte Tilbury customer service, they replaced it, but and when I got the replacement email, it said that I wouldn't receive it until like the end of September. So I thought, you know what, I'll just go ahead and use it in my get ready with me. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it up in the iCards. I created a look using these three shades and then deepened it with this shade over here. So, you know, definitely check that out. But I wasn't going to review this because I felt like if I got it by the end of the month, you guys wouldn't be interested in it by then. So when I received it earlier than expected, I asked you guys in my community center if you guys would be interested in seeing a full review, and the majority of you said yes. So here we are, I'm going to review it for you and also give you several looks using the palette. Now, this palette is currently available on the Charlotte Tilbury website right now. It retails for $75 and this is her typical holiday palette. She did have the recent Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette that is similar to this, but normally this is the palettes that she launches. I have several of them from, you know, years back. So in the video, I will be doing a lot of comparisons, a lot of swatches, and I also have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury quads and a few of the minis. I have the Icon palette. So we're gonna do a lot of comparisons when it comes to this palette, because as we know, Charlotte Tilbury is the queen of repetitive shades. This is kind of the same color story as a lot of her other palettes. I really wanna dive in and do a lot of comparisons so that you can know whether it's really worth picking up because you might already have it in your collection. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the tutorials that I created using this palette. Then we will go ahead and jump into the swatches and comparisons. And then at the end, I will get into my full final thoughts and let you guys know my opinion on it. And you know, does it perform? Is it a good pigmented palette? Is it really truly something that you actually need in your collection? So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the tutorials and I will see you guys all in my final thoughts. Okay, so I got my replacement palette and I'm excited to dive into this beautiful palette. So let's go ahead and grab this middle shade in the Seduce Glow. Oh, she's pigmented. By the way, I'm using my BK Beauty 207 brush. I am so hot. I'm going to take off my sweater. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little blending brush and kind of blend that out. So pretty. That shade is perfection. I love it. It blends so good and it's so pigmented. I'm going to go into the happy glow right here and I'm going to sweep that in the crease and kind of bring some of that warmth to that brown shade. Ooh, so pretty. And I'm going to buff that into my lower lash line. Kind of bringing it down. Then I'm going to grab the flat definer from Sigma and grab the Seduce Glow and buff that in. I wonder if I should do a halo eye. I'm kind of in the mood for a beautiful halo eye. I'm going to grab the Happy Glow and I'm going to bring it into the inner corner. Kind of connecting it to the upper crease. 
Now I'm going to take that same brush, which is the refer number two, and I'm going to go into the Seduce Glow and lightly bring that, not all the way in, so I'm not taking it all the way into my inner corner, but almost. Brush. I'm going to go into the Seduce Glow and I'm going to bring that right there so that it kind of connects. Okay, so it looks a little wonky right now, but it'll all kind of come together once I get the shimmer shade on. I'm going to grab this first shade in the Seduce Glow, this one right here. Place it right there. Oh, she is pretty. Okay, I'm going to use my finger. Oh, that shade is gorgeous. Holy shimoxies, that's pretty. Now I want to grab this really bright gold right here and I am going to place that right on the center right there so that it kind of goes up. I'm going to grab a little bit of that first shimmer shade in the Seduce Glow and kind of buff that into the crease just a little bit like i've said charlotte tilbury's uh, shimmers are gorgeous in the crease they just look absolutely beautiful i'm gonna go into the matte in the happy glow and go over this one more time and use that to kind of bring it all together buff out any of those edges okay and next i'm gonna grab that flat definer brush i'm gonna go into that matte in the seduce glow and then i'm going to spray it with some setting mist. I am going to place it right here close to the outer corner of my lash line. And I'm gonna kinda use that to like wing out that lash line. For the inner corner, I think I'm gonna grab a little bit of this. Let's just see what it'll look like on the inner corner. I might have to use a lighter shade, but we'll see. Yeah, it's too golden, so I don't want to use that in the inner corner. I think I'll just use a really light gold, um, probably like a highlighter or something, just to really bring it to light. Okay, so this is the final look, and I love the way that this look turned out. I think it's really beautiful. I wanted to let you guys know, as far as the lashes go, I put on the House of Lashes and the Patrick Ta collaboration in the style it's a look they're very fluttery very beautiful and i love them now as far as the lip goes i went ahead and put on the kkw beauty lip liner nude 2.5 and i paired it with my favorite shade from wing goss it's in the shade camellia i love this shade it's such a perfect peachy beige shade there's no pink undertone in it it's a full peachy beige and i love it and then I threw on just a tiny bit of the gloss in Hibiscus. And like, this is one of my favorite nude combinations. That's it for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and jump in to the next tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the next look. I'm gonna first grab this shade right here, which is a shimmer shade. Now, I didn't put my concealer on yet. I just have my foundation and brows done. So I'm, I'm basically just placing this all over the lid and kind of sweeping it up into the crease just to kind of open up the eye a little bit right through here. Okay, next up I'm gonna grab the BK Beauty 207 brush and we're gonna go into this matte shade first. I don't wanna use too much of the shade because I don't want it to turn into like a brown eyeshadow look, but I wanna use this to kind of just carve things out and then go over top of it with the other like more pink matte shade. Now I'm gonna grab this shade right here. I'm gonna start right about here. and then kind of create that V. I'm gonna grab my clean brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna mix the Happy Glow Matte and the Love Glow Matte and just build it up right out here. I'm kind of using the Happy Glow Matte just to kind of tone it down. I don't want that red to kind of overtake the look, 
just because I'm just not somebody that can wear those really strong cranberry red shades. Like now I'm gonna take my finger into this shade right here. Let's place it right here on the center of the lid. Oh, she's pretty on top of that shimmer. That's really pretty. Then I'm gonna grab the 207 and I'm gonna grab that matte. Just blend that shade out. So I'm gonna take my flat definer from Sigma and I'm gonna go into that like cranberry red shade. I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray and I'm gonna use that to create a line. I'm gonna use it as a liner just to add a little bit of depth. Then I'm gonna grab like a small smudge brush and just kind of bl brush out those edges. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the BK Beauty brush, the 207, I'm gonna go into the Happy Glow Matte and we're gonna bring that right down here on the lower lash line. Again, taking the Sigma brush, going back into the Love Glow Matte and I'm gonna place that right at the base of the lashes and kind of pulling it down as I'm buffing it into that lash line. I'm gonna add a little bit more definition right along here. So I'm gonna grab the Love Glow Matte. I'm gonna place it like right there just to really grab that definition and then kind of fading it into the eye look. Okay, so I'm back. This is the final look. I went ahead and used my this is the Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. I went ahead and mixed these two shades right here and placed it on the inner corner just because I really didn't wanna use the other shades that were in this palette and I think it worked great. As far as the lippy goes, I'm wearing this from Hourglass, which is a perfect shade for this eyeshadow look. This is from their new 2020 Holiday Collection. This is in the shade At Dawn and it's becoming one of my favorite shades to wear. So that's what I went ahead and paired it with. As far as the lashes go, I'm wearing the House of Lashes and Patrick Ta in the style It's a Look. I'm really enjoying these lashes. They're super comfortable, super fluttery, but not too much for the eye. So I really, really like this style. So that's it for look number two. Let's go ahead and jump into look number three. So let's jump into this next look and I kind of want to play with this area right here because I've pretty much played with every section in the palette and I want to use every shade. I feel like that's the best way to give a thorough review on a palette, especially at this price, to play with every shade. So I'm going to grab my Refer number two brush. Let's go ahead and apply it here on the inner corner. Now I'm kind of testing a new concealer, so I might have to redo my concealer, which is gonna ruin my test, but that's okay. As you can see, this purple is pigmented. So I've laid a little bit of it down. Now I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of blend it out. Yeah, it's making a mess. And then I'm gonna come over here and place it here on this outer corner. Kind of carving it out. So you guys will notice, I don't have any lashes on this eye. I have worked for months and months and months to get my lashes to grow. This side has always been pretty decent. It's this side that has struggled growing. I was curling my lashes today I usually use a heated eyelash curler, but I was using one that crimps and my hand twitched and pulled out all my eyelashes. I still have some here on the corner, but I have nothing right here. That's all I have to say about that. It sucks so much. So then I'm gonna kind of use whatever's left on the brush to kind of connect them. I'm gonna grab that purple and just deepen it up just a little bit right along this bridge of the bone. I 
I may not need a matte. I mean, this shade, again, I've said it throughout the entire video, her shimmers are really nice because they are formulated to really blend into the crease. Well, I am so. going to grab my Sonia G. This is the flat definer brush. I am going to go into the shade right next to it. I'm going to grab this shade right here and I'm going to place that right on the center of the lid. Actually, to make this eyeshadow look work, I need that shade to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to kind of blend it out. Then I'm going to grab the one right next to it in the Dream Glow place it right over top, but I'm going to use my finger. So I'm going to gently wipe this off. I wanted that to be really pink on the center of my lid. So I'm just taking my makeup wipe, wrapping it around my finger, and I'm just going in and kind of removing some of that darker pink. I want that center pink to really pop and kind of be the showcase of it. I'm going to grab this from Anastasia. This is the ABH eyeshadow primer and it's white and it'll really make that shade pop on the lid. So I just grabbed a tiny little bit. So now I'm going to go into that light pink in the Dream Glow and I'm going to place it right over top of that primer. Kind of rubbing it into it. I am going to grab a smaller brush, just a small little pencil brush. This is the refer number three. I'm going to go into the purple, buff out any of those harsh lines that I have. I'm kind of blending it into the pink. So I'm going over the lower lash line with the purple one more time and just kind of making sure that it's nice and purpley under there, you know? Okay, so this is the final look and I threw on a pair of lashes. This is the House of Lashes and Patrick Ta collaboration. It's in this style, it's a look. I'm obsessed with these lashes. I've been wearing them consistently. I am wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Saint-Tropez. I always love this lip gloss with a purple pink eye. I just, it's always been my favorite. So I went ahead and threw this on. Now I did put on a black eyeliner on my upper waterline to fill that gaps in. And then I also did it right on the base of the lashes to hide the, the lash band. And I also took this shade right here, this one right here and put it on the inner corner but I felt like it wasn't quite as bright as I was wanting it to be, especially when I'm wearing such a dark eyeshadow look. So I pulled out my metallic strobe light palette from Hourglass and grabbed this first shade, popped it over top of the pink just so that it had the pink base, but then something really light yellow like this to really make it pop. So that's it for the tutorial portion of the video. Let's go ahead and jump into the swatches of the palette, also comparing it to other palettes in my collection, and I will see you guys all in my final thoughts. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the swatches and comparisons. Now, normally I will just throw these images up and you know kind of go through them and then jump into my kind of final thoughts but today i wanted to kind of walk you through my opinion how this palette compares to the other palettes that i've swatched and compared next to this palette so here's an image of the actual palette alone uh this is without a flash and you can truly see without a flash the vibrancies of the shimmer shades in this palette they are stunning now, if you look at them under the flash, you can even see just how rich they are. They have a lot of depth. As I've been going through her palettes, especially comparing it to the few of the quads that I have, 
The depth is incredible, way more than the actual quads themselves. Let's first start with the Stars in Your Eyes palette. So this is one of her holiday palettes. I wanted to compare them side by side so you could kind of see the color story next to this Bejeweled palette. The only color combinations I could find that were similar were the purple tones. Not really a lot of similarities, but for those of you that love purple, if you already have the Stars in Your Eyes, that would be a great palette to kind of combine because the Stars in Your Eyes palette does have a purple matte. So you could totally use the purple matte from that sh palette to work with the purples that are in the Bejeweled palette. Next, let's talk about the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. Now, this was last year's palette. And up here on the screen is the image of how they compare side by side. There were some similarities. I would say personally, out of all the palettes that I've swatched today, those were the two palettes that I found that were most comparable. Even though they have somewhat of the same color story in sections, they were definitely different shades, but they're kind of the same color story, but definitely not the same tone. Now, the next to larger palette I wanted to compare it to is the larger Pillow Talk. So this is the Instant Pillow Talk palette. And up here on the screen is an image of these side by side. So you can see how they work and, you know, how the color stories compare. In the comparisons, I only found two shades from the Bejeweled palette that are comparable to several shades in the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. Now there's a big difference between these two palettes. The Pillow Talk Palette has a wide variety of matte shades. So the Bejeweled Palette is majority shimmer shades and this B Pillow Talk Palette is majority matte shades. So if you have this Pillow Talk Palette, what I'm seeing from this is these two are very, very good to use together. You could create some beautiful eye looks with both of these palettes together. I would just lay them out on your vanity and create looks. You could pull mattes from this palette that would totally work with this palette being that this has so many shimmers. It, Charlotte Tilbury has really great mattes and the mattes in this palette are beautiful. Even though this is the same old color story from Charlotte Tilbury, this is a nice palette with a lot of her mattes. So let's go ahead and jump into the quads. I have several quads from Charlotte Tilbury. I went through them all and I could only find three that were kind of comparable. So this one is the Copper Charge palette. And up here on the screen is the image of the Bejeweled palette next to the Copper Charge palette. They're kind of comparable, but not really. Then we have the Exaggerize palette. And I wanted to, this is one of my favorite quads. I wanted to compare the Exaggerize palette to the Seduce Glow in the Bejeweled palette. And I wanna, I wanna say this right off the bat. You can see in this swatch just how pigmented this Bejeweled palette really is. I was shocked how well this palette swatches. It swatches beautifully, but you can see the depth and the shine from the Bejeweled palette versus the Exaggerized palette. And then I finally wanted to compare it to the Walk of Shame palette. Up here on the screen is the image of the Bejeweled palette next to the Walk of Shame palette. I wanted to compare this to the Love Glow section in this Bejeweled palette. And as you can see, again, I'm having the same experience. The Bejeweled palette is just much more richer. Now the first shade is more of like a beautiful kind of shimmer topper, but it's still got a lot of depth and oomph to it, more so than what is in the Dreamgasm palette. So, I mean, truthfully, if you have the Dreamgasm palette, you could use the matte from the Love Glow and really blend that uh, Dreamgasm palette in. Because the Dreamgasm is a full shimmer shade, you could totally use that matte shade in correspondence with the Dreamgasm palette and, and use that matte. I think it would be beautiful. That's it, you guys. Those are the comparisons. Let's go ahead and jump straight into my final thoughts. So let me go ahead and get into my final thoughts. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I think this is an amazing palette. I don't think I'm gonna be using the Dream Glow section all that much because I just don't wear that many purples. This isn't a very this is a very expensive palette. And I always say when you're buying a very expensive palette, you really wanna love all of the shades. And 
I agree with that still. I've always stood by that statement. I really love the purple look that I was able to create with this palette and normally I'm not a big fan of purples. I absolutely love, love, love the Seduce Glow and the Happy Glow section of this palette. Yes, it's very similar to her other palettes. I get it. But there's something about the formula and the amount of depth that are in the mattes and the, and the amount of depth that are in the shimmers. They're just so gorgeous. And when I created that bronzy look, the first look in this palette, I was just blown away by the intensity and the level of depth and the pigmentation. It is absolutely perfection. She, I think the formula is phenomenal. I think it's way better than the quads. And if you look at it, price comparisons, the quads is just, you know, it's a no-brainer. They're very expensive. And up here on the screen is an image that I took. I did all the math for you guys. This is the math of the quads per gram, how much you pay per gram, versus how much you pay per gram in these larger palettes, just so that you know exactly how much you're paying. The quads are very, very expensive. And I feel like you get a lot more variety with these larger holiday palettes. And I did not get one dud in this palette. And let me say this, this shade I was really concerned about, this one right here, because that shade is kind of hard to do. It really is, that and a matte purple nailed it. This formula, fantastic. I wanted to use every shade in the palette. Yes, the only shade that I used but ended up taking off was this shade just because I wanted my lid to be a little bit brighter, but I used every shade in this palette. I blended the crap out of it. These are very pigmented, beautiful, beautiful shadows and I think the packaging is stunning and I'm happy with it, you guys. I really am. I'm happy with the overall quality of it. I think my only complaint would be the fact that it is kind of the same old story. We have so many of these brands out on the market that are charging a large sum of money for their palettes, but not really giving us something different, like a different color story. Even Pat McGrath is being very repetitive. And so, yes, this palette from Charlotte Tilbury, this new holiday palette is kind of repetitive, but I cannot say that I don't love it because I do. I think it's a gorgeous palette and it blends so beautifully and it's just a joy to use. I will continue to use this and love it and it is what it is. So I, those are my final thoughts about the palette. Sound off down below. Let us know if you guys picked up this palette, how you're liking it. If you're not liking it, let us know. I mean, your guys' opinion is just as important as mine and just as helpful to everyone in the comment section as my opinion is. And I'm always grateful when you guys sound off and let us know how you're feeling about these palettes. So don't hesitate. Let us know if you like it. Do you not like it? Did you buy it and return it? I don't care what it is. Let us know in the comments down below. I hope that this review was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, beautiful, healthy, happy weekend, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.